You must have a pancake. Why? If the police come in, we're celebrating Shrove Time. Thank you. Nadiesta Krupskaya. Vladimir Ili Julianov. They're all comrades. We meet when we can to talk. Mm, I've observed that they talk. We read Marx, we discuss socialist principle, we write pamphlets. We can't print them, we circulate them by hand. To whom? To each other. Incest. Where do you come from? Samara, and before that, Simbirsk. Why have you come to Petersburg? To work. At what? At law. And for the revolution. But not this way. Are you related to Alexander Yulanov, the martyr? He was my older brother. Oh, no, must... no, no. His death was useless. How can you say his death his was useless? His pancakes are very good. Thank you. No, good. The role of the worker. Have you ever met any workers? Yes. I teach at Smolensky Sunday evening adult school. It's important to fight against illiteracy. <laughs> Why do you laugh? If anyone thinks he'll save the fatherland by fighting illiteracy, I won't stop him. <laughs> Do they talk to you? They tell me about their illnesses, their families, their problems. Yes, they do talk to me. One man told me he had discovered there was no God, and now life was easier. Because if one was the slave of God, one could do nothing. But if one was only the slave of men, then one could fight. That is right. But with this, Tsarism won't be overthrown by assassination or by talk, only by the combined will of the people. Do they tell you about their working conditions? Well, we have to be careful because they're always police spies. But I have seen the factories where they live like cattle among the machines and I have seen the overcrowded dormitories. Men, women, children, the barely living and the dying. I can talk with them. Good. What should we do? Study the factory laws. Talk to the workers, question them. Find out what their grievances are. Then we can use those grievances in our propaganda. You must find ways of distributing leaflets, arrange contacts, meetings. When they see that we are identified with their everyday needs, then they will trust us. We can organize them, develop their political consciousness. You'll do nothing if you sit here and talk like effete university liberals. We must go out, obtain the confidence of the people and the power of the people. Only they can challenge the Tsarist state and the bourgeoisie which supports it.